Hey guys, my name's Matthew. Uh, I just recently bought this 2019 Razorblade Stealth. It's an awesome computer. I absolutely love it. I've loved using it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, with one exception, occasionally it has this coil whine, kind of this annoying noise that pops up, and I wanted to get rid of it. So I did a little bit of research. It turns out it's the uh, SSD that's in there makes a little bit of noise. Don't understand why, because it's solid state, so you wouldn't think there's anything moving. But it does something about the power input. Apparently just replacing the SSD uh, fixes it, according to the forums online. But there are no videos of it, so I wanted to show you guys the video. If you're looking, if you're not sure how to do this, uh, here's the one. It's pretty simple. I'll also put some links in the description, kind of showing you where I found some of my info. Um, so other than that, we'll dig right into it. Hey guys, so today we're taking apart this Razorblade 2019, the Stealth. Um, I ran into some issues and ended up having to get another head for this screwdriver because one of these screws was put in a little bit sideways and I ended up stripping the bit. So I had to get a new bit for it. Um, basically what we're doing today is we're looking to uh, get the SSD replaced. And today we're gonna be replacing it with this guy here. This is the uh, 970 EVO. Um, this is M2. So um, hopefully it's going to be a little plug and play action, not too much tr trickiness here. Hopefully our biggest headache is going to be the fact that I just stripped that one bit and the rest of these screws should come right out. No issues. Um, but I do just want to say be really careful when you're taking out these screws. They come out with T5, so the Torx head. Um, they're all those star bits. They don't come out too difficultly, but just be careful because you can apparently strip either the screw or the screwdriver bit pretty easily. So be careful about that. So I got those 10 T5 screws out of there. They're all little guys and they're all the exact same, which is nice. Um, so allegedly, you can just pop this thing off of here. There's not like a lot of difficulty getting it off, is what I've heard. And it seems like that's gonna be true. There's probably a piece of tape kind of sticking down a little bit. Um, I don't think I missed any screws. So I'm gonna try to see inside there. Yeah, just a couple pieces of tape. Other than that, we're doing pretty all right. Um, so here's the inside of the computer. This is good. Um, so we have here is this long battery, um, and of course our SSD, which is right there, which we're gonna take out. It's just got the one screw. Once you're inside this thing, um, go ahead and touch the metal, which I've just done off screen, just to discharge any elect uh, like electrostatic buildup. Um, and you can go ahead and pull out your battery here, which is right on this side, um, just a kind of a pin connector over here. And that's on my left. So that guy just kind of pulls right out of there. And the thought there is just to make sure there's not like electricity running through this as you go. And then you'll see my uh, drive is right there. I'll grab a different screwdriver head. And once we've got this guy out, this is a uh, uh, my, this is a 256 gig hard drive. This is in solid state as well. But allegedly, that's where all the coil wind problems are coming from. And that's from once we have some of the issues just in general with this guy. So we're going to try and replace it with this. And let's see. There should be kind of a plug and play option here. We're just kind of slide them in. Make sure she's all connected. And we should be able to just put it right back together. So I'll do that next. 
All right, that's great. It is in our boot menu here. I don't know how well you can see it. Hold on. Okay, in our boot menu here, um, it's telling us that we've got the Samsung SSD 970 EVO one terabyte. Uh, that's positive because that's exactly what's in there. So we'll go ahead and shut this guy down now. And then I want to just talk about a couple things going on back here. That I really like about this computer, um, some of the things that I really just appreciate. So one of the big ones is here, I just love these um, heat pipes, these big copper pipes that are rolling all the way across here. Um, that's huge for keeping the temperature down. I also really appreciate um, the dual fan setup, which is kind of classic gaming setup. Um, this is not a, a computer I use for gaming. I don't think it's really that great for gaming, but it is just, again, great for keeping that heat down. So as I'm processing videos and making those things happen, um, that this is gonna stay cool. So I really appreciate that. Um, other than that, I love it. It's a 13 inch uh, book with a dedicated GPU. That's huge. And, and overall, I, I really do recommend the Stealth, uh, the 2019 version of the Stealth. I think it's a great laptop, especially now that uh, the price has been lowered. Um, I think this is just a great laptop for what it is and definitely recommend it. Um, if you're looking at a laptop, you're looking for something like this, I like this, like this computer a lot. I'm, I'm coming from a, a newer version of the Mac book, uh, the 13 inch MacBook, and this I think is better than that in a lot of ways. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and snap this thing back on there and kind of close it up. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about this device or about what I just did um, in the comments. Also in the description of this, I'm gonna leave a couple um, websites and links just to show you kind of what you do after this or even what you do before this because you got to boot up and you got to take some stuff off and um, basically how I'm going to get Windows back onto this computer with this new hard drive in place.